Hey, everybody. Uh, so, my name is Julius. I'm a performance engineer, and I want to just talk a little bit about Perf. Anybody here Linux uh, programmers? Yeah? Heard of Perf? Yeah. So, um, to connect to the previous speaker, um, about sustainability, how to make your programs more sustainable, improve their performance. Very simple, right? <laughs> um, but it would be actually quite uh, difficult to do. So, does everybody have a clear understanding uh, difference between what is performance and what is efficiency? Yes? Okay. So, for those who don't, uninitiated, efficiency is how much work does your program do, right? And performance is how fast that work is being done, right? So you can increase, improve the efficiency of your program, but you can make it actually worse, which is funny. So um, to connect, so a perf is basically a, for Linux, is a, a sampling profiler. It inter interrupts your program. It collects a bunch of uh, data from CPU registers, and it's a, it's a massive tool in a very small package. It's actually quite beautiful because it pretty much allows you to do anything. Um, so I'm going to cover just a few things that I think it's like essential to know. It's the stat record report, right? So what is stat? So stat the D, um, dash D is for more information. Give me everything that you get. And we have everything about what your program was doing. Context switches, um, page faults, cycles, instructions, and then um, gigabytes of uh, per second for branches, and what, there's tons and tons of information. And obviously, we care a lot about the L1 and LCC cache misses, and then obviously the uh, top-down FE bounds and uh, B bounds, which is basically your front installing, your back installing. Meaning, I'm waiting for my instructions, or I'm waiting for data. It's like, come on, gotta move on, right? So, yeah, so to jump next, we will look at the record and report, which is basically uh, getting the most. It's, a, it's about recording a profile while running your applications, um, seeing everything what it does. And there's a couple of things to look at. Um, compiling your programs with uh, FNOA mid-frame pointer just points, basically takes your stack pointer and attaches to a particular register. It's a bit more expensive, but you can actually understand what your program is doing. And G for call, gra call graph, it's basically I want to, to see it. And E for what kind of events I want to sample. D default, I think, is cycles, but you can say, oh, I want um, cache misses, I want to understand what's happening with my, where my front end stalls and whatnot. So you can look at all of that. So, and then the ability to annotate your code to look into your assembly and actually understand what's happening. So let's look at that. So I ran record, and then at the bottom you can see uh, perf record woke up that many times, that's how much data it collected. And then you run perf report with a call graph with dash G. And you can see the call graph of your application. You can inspect in detail. And then when you look at it, annotate it, you can actually see what's actually happening by, in your program. So obviously, um, this is just a basic allocator. Uh, nothing particularly interesting. But the information that you get here is not trivial. It's um, where your program jumps, uh, what is expensive, what is not, and everything that you, I guess, need to know in order to improve the uh, performance of your program. So, uh, there is a video uh, which I created. It's about 20 minutes um, uh, about more about Perf. If you care to watch it, I invite you to do so. And then if you have questions about Perf, Ask me over a beer. Thanks a lot.